Hey gang, welcome to my sexy covers tag video. This tag was started by Seeking Near Mint Comics, and it's an open tag, so you should make your own as well. Mr. Rigamortis86 already has. Before I start, though, I want to thank the lone wolf of the comic book hunt. He made a video for me. We were talking in the comments on his previous video, and he was like, uh, uh, I should do a tribute video for you. And I was like, <laughs> good one. But he actually did it. It's like, dude, thank you. I have shockingly few sexy covers. Like, some are buried. Like, all the Dave Stevens covers I have are buried. Uh, but I, I did find a few. This is uh, the trade paperback for Danger Girl Odd Jobs. It collects a bunch of the one-shots and whatever. Like, God damn that logo! Here's Firestar number three. It's uh, by Arthur Adams, inked by Bill Sienkiewicz. Nothing says sexy, like a character screaming, we'll all get cancer. Here's Wonder Woman 66 by Brian Boland. It's not his greatest cover, but she is stripping. Here's the art of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's on the list because Jessica Rabbit's on the cover. I mean, it, she's not very prominent, but it still guarantees a spot on the list. Uh, I get this at a comic book store. They've got a, a $2 basement. Anything in the basement is $2. Whenever I get something from the basement, the clerk I'm talking to has to call over two other clerks to say, is this from the basement? Or is this, is this from the $5 box? Is this from the graphic novels? It's like, where's this from? No, it can't be from the basement. Uh, it can't. No, it's from the basement because it hasn't been up here. And, and it takes, it's a five minute process. Every single time I get something from their two dollar basement. Marble swimsuit special number three, the nice Adam Hughes cover, an early Adam Hughes cover where he's like painting and airbrushing it. It's a uh, Namor and the Invisible Girl. You can tell that she's invisible because you can see Namor's crotch through there. <laughs> it's a good thing that her titties are visible, am I right? This isn't a cheat. Sheena is a comic book character. This just happens to be the live action crappy TV show that starred Gina Lee Nolan. Oh, Gina Lee Nolan. This is Femme Fatale, Z, number, number two of volume ten. Here's another Arthur Adams cover, classic X-Men number four with a nice torn Storm costume. But Storm, your costume's so teeny already, can you stand to have it torn? This is Marvel Age 76 with a nice shulky cover. It's extra sexy because it's a hot chick reading a comic book. When I first saw it, I screamed, fake geek, but then I realized it was a drawing. And what sexy list could be complete without Archie Giant Series Magazine presents Betty and Veronica's Summer Fun, number 496. Yeah. Oh, let's just look at the Betty. There, and Veronica, there. Dilton, I've never been more jealous of you. Thank you to Seeking Near Mint Comics. Thank you for starting this tag, and thank you for making it an open tag. And thank you all for tolerating my tastes in sexy. But, you know, I don't have any of these variants. I don't have any of these risque variants. I don't have any of these multiple covers where, you know, one has a female character with some clothes. And then the next one has her with less clothes. The next one has her nude. The next one has stuff that will make comic crack blush.